Youth sports, no doubt, is a massive industry. As parents, we trust coaches to take care of our kids. And while there are a lot of really great coaches across all different sports, unfortunately, that is not always the case. So what can kids do if they are dealing with an abusive coach? And what kind of changes need to be implemented to protect youth athletes across the board? Joining us this morning is Eric Legg. He is an associate professor in the School of Community Resources and Development at ASU. He also also happens to be an expert in the area of community sports experience, really the perfect expert uh, to talk about this particular subject. Uh, Professor Legg, thanks for joining us this morning. And first of all, before we start the conversation, just want to say uh, we know you're not familiar with this particular case involving the Queen Creek coach, so we won't address that specific case. But let's dive into the culture of sports. What is it about the culture of sports that in many cases either protects or looks the other way when a coach behaves inappropriately. Uh, well, Gina, first, thanks for having me. I, I wish we were talking about all the good that sports can do, which I can, but unfortunately, this is a reality as well. Uh, I think there's a couple things about sport um, that makes it sometimes a ground for this type of behavior. Uh, first is this performance culture, this win at all costs. Mm -hmm. um, we, we often turn a blind eye. Um, in the name of winning, well, it's okay because because winning is is most important. Uh, second um, is a a culture historically of I'll say tough love would be the the positive spin on it, uh, but certainly that often goes to an extreme. Um, but I think uh, unfortunately we've couched it in that like mm. it's tough love, um, it's okay, um, we're making them better. Uh, and, and third is. Uh, you know, kids love sport and, and that's a, a good thing. Um, but one downside to that is it is difficult to report. Coaches are often role models. Um, you want to play. You don't want your teammates to be mad at you. You don't want your coach to be mad at you. Uh, so I think, but because of that, um, it is a much harder situation for kids to report when things are not as they should be. You know, let's first of all address what you mentioned about tough love. You know, in many cases, it's not unusual for a coach to yell at a player, maybe to motivate them in some way. Um, I also think about we're showing uh, clips of football right now, some of the sports that are a little bit more physical. But at what point do you say, you know what? No, that's crossed the line. Yeah, that's inappropriate. Yeah, and I, I wish it was an, a black and white simple answer. It's not. Uh, but we have to think about um, at what point are we embarrassing the child, um, or what point are we demoralizing them? Uh, and the other thing I, I would tell coaches is, in the long term, this doesn't work. <laughs> like, if you think this is how you're going to win, it, it's actually much more effective. Um, positive reinforcement. Now, that doesn't mean you can't challenge and push and encourage kids mm. um, to do more. Uh, but uh, these old school yelling and screaming tactics. Uh, are not effective. Uh, certainly, in the in the longer term, you you lose the you lose the kid, and you lose that relationship, um, and you lose the focus of sport, which should be about youth and community development. Yeah, and I think about too the betterment and the wholeness of a person. That there are so many life lessons that can be learned from sport. Uh, you know, you also addressed the concerns about retaliation, about uh, you know um, not having a, a positive support from fellow teammates and the coaches themselves. So, what what can a child or a parent do if they do decide to report, but they don't get support? from say administrators or that coach, what do you suggest that they do? Yeah, so first of all, this is on the adults. Um, and what we need to do as adults is create a culture of transparency, um, a culture where it is okay to report. Um, I would encourage every organization, every coach, every parent involved in sport um, to get some training. US Center for Safe Sport is a fantastic one that I recommend. Um, and that talks about what's okay, what's not. Um, how do you report? Um, if you don't feel supported in that, um, go to someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, if we're in these organizations and parents, if we're getting that training, if we're creating this culture of transparency, um, then hopefully we're not running into those issues. Boy, we could talk on and on about this subject, but we're going to have to leave it right there. A fascinating topic, and thank you for your expertise. Thanks for joining us this morning, Great. Professor Lee. Thank you for having me.